happy April 1st, Floss Tube. Hey, crafty friends. Welcome back. My name is Caroline. And uh, today is the second of four special high tea new starts that, uh, that I'm celebrating during the year 2020. So what is high tea? High tea is uh, something that I came up with a couple of years ago as a way to uh, sort of celebrate a new start from something in my stash, something that was a bit special that maybe I'd been saving, really wanting to start, but also not wanting to use it up or, um, you know, save it for good. And so I thought, let's turn it into something that's both fun and a little bit special. And so originally I was doing one new high tea start a month. And I did that, I think I did that for two, years pretty sure it was two years and then this year i decided to switch things up and uh, not have a new start every month because i tend to choose really large projects and i have a lot of large things in my stash that i want to start but um, i'd also like to eventually finish a few things as well i'm much more of a process stitcher than a um, completion stitcher which i think is fairly clear. Uh, so this year I decided to just do four and I've split it up every, once for once every three months. So the first day of every three months is time for a new high tea start. And I also like to do a giveaway with it. Now the last high tea was January 1st and it obviously corresponded with New Year's Day and I didn't put up a video and I never did the drawing for the giveaway and I didn't put up a new giveaway um, on January 1st so I'm gonna draw your memories back all the way back to the end of November 2019 when I did the very last giveaway for high tea because I have pulled a winner for that and here is what it was in case you can't remember this was a uh, really really lovely chart by Julia Manfredini and it's called Katie's Purse. So that was the chart. And it is just so sweet. It makes a needle book. You can see the back cover shows the picture of the opened needle book. And it's just a really, really, really lovely design. Uh, so this is this is the chart that I was giving away and then I usually also tuck in a notions pouch made by me so this was the giveaway from the end of November I went into the face uh, and I try to uh, juggle where the giveaways happen so they alternate between Facebook Instagram and YouTube so the last giveaway at the end of November uh, happened over in the Facebook group and I had 101 comments and the random number generator chose comment number 89, which was Paula Beeman. So congratulations, Paula. You uh, were the winner of the very last high tea giveaway that I had ages and ages and ages ago. And uh, if you get me your address in the next couple of days, I should be able to get this out to you. Uh, with the with the box that I'm taking to FedEx tomorrow afternoon. Okay, the other giveaway that I have to do today before I get to new high tea stuff is uh, three or four or five days ago, the days are running into each other, I put up a giveaway for a Dimensions wedding kit and it was this really sweet chart, Happily Ever After, I really like this design. It's very simple. It's very sweet. And um, anyways, this was the, th this comes with the Ada and the floss to, to do it. So I had, I, I went in and I did the random YouTube ran, random comment picker. It is, it, it's just a web uh, website you can go to and you can insert the URL of the YouTube video and you can even, um, you can 
put in text that you're specifically looking for. So I, the word I'd asked for was wedding. I had 27 unique comments and the, the random comment chooser chose Hildy Johnson, who says that she has a wedding planned for herself in June, but at the moment is unsure whether or not that will be going ahead. So Hildy, um, my fingers are crossed for you. Best wishes. This will be sent out to you. If you could get me your address, please. I will also try to get this into the box that's going out tomorrow. Because these are full kits, I tuck these into the same packaging that I use for uh, the bags that I send out, um, which, because then they're, they're uh, bubble wrap. So those I still have. It's the envelopes for the patterns that I am out of. So if I'm just sending out pattern giveaways, those are the envelopes that I'm currently out of. So those giveaways might be a little bit delayed. However, both Hildy and Paula, I should be able to get your, your, your prize out to you uh, tomorrow. Okay, so that leads me to today. I'll talk about the giveaway in a minute because I'm going to share my new start with you first. And I'll tell you, this was not, this was not a high tea start that I had planned on um, when I first thought about the four projects that I wanted to start this year. This was not one of them. But then my friend Letitia sent me this pattern. Many of you are stitching this right now. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you haven't guessed already, it is the Crown and Thistle Quaker Seasons of Friendship. This is going to be my new start. So Letitia purchased this online from uh, Dying to Stitch in Virginia Beach. And she, it's Virginia Beach, right? Because that's where, no, that's where the Crown and Thistle but this is their sampler, isn't it? Yeah, Virginia Beach. Um, I should have looked this up before I started talking about it. Flying by the seat of my pants again today, folks. Um, but it's absolutely just the most beautiful sampler ever. And I thought, what an appropriate time to be focusing on friendship and the people that mean a lot to me in my life and uh, that's what's gonna pull us through this is are those connections and those relationships and um, you know being able to text a friend late at night before bedtime and just wish them well and uh, I have a few friends like that and Leticia is one of them and she means a lot to me and so I'm starting this today because because, because of that. So I had already, when she, uh, when I knew, she told me it was coming because she, she couldn't help herself. It, uh, she's very much like me. I'm terrible at keeping secrets, if it's, especially if it's a surprise and I, I have to basically, you know, it, I, I'm terrible at it. And so she told me it was coming and so I was so excited and um, she was so excited. So then I went ahead and I ordered the fabric for it. I have shared this already, but just to refresh your memory, I ordered um, a custom piece of Rocky Mountain from XJU Designs. There. And she did it specifically to the size that I needed for the chart, which is 19 by 28 inches. This should allow me, I have to double check my math before I start stitching. That's critical. Uh, but it's a 19 by 28 inch piece and like all of Yucas's fabrics, um, they are, uh, she surges them and they smell delicious and it's just a huge piece of linen and one day it will have Quaker Seasons of Friendship completely stitched on it. So that's the fabric and the thread because we're supposed to be using something super special from Stash. I 
I'm using my hank of silks for you. So here's my combo. Rocky Mountain and a hank of silks for you in my absolute favorite, 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 favorite color. You all know this is my favorite color because I have three cardigans in this color and I wear them all the time. This is my favorite color. I absolutely, it just brings me joy. Just love it. And many of you are gonna ask me for the Silks For You number and I have no idea. I'm sure I said it originally on the video that I made like two years ago when I purchased it, but my memory is not that good. I don't remember, unless it's in the screen cap, I don't remember what I talked about in all of those videos. I know I put it somewhere, I, so I should probably just go and look for it, but it was about two years ago, perhaps. Maybe somebody out there recognizes this color from Silks For You and can, can help a stitcher out here with, uh, with letting me know the number. I'm really bad at those details. I should have tucked the, the um, receipt in. I, I've been keeping in this in one of those boxes, you know those boxes that you can get at Michael's, those little storage boxes. I bought three skeins, three hanks of silk from Silks For You at the time, about two years ago. The other two are blue. One of them's a dark cornflower blue and the other one is a lighter um, blue. About three of them at the same time and I haven't even touched them. And so this, to me, symbolizes high tea perfectly. What am I waiting for? So how am I gonna handle this? That's always a question that I'm asked. How do I handle those big hanks of, of silk from silks for you? Because value for money, this is beautiful silk for a very good price for what you're, for what you're getting. And um, their customer service was excellent. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm actually, um, I'm going to do exactly what Aaron did. Um, if you watched yesterday's video and I showed the PR147, that bright, gorgeous teal color, um, where she had it, she, she had preloaded it onto thread drops. So what you do is you can see these hanks are tied together and this is just like yarn. Um, when, during the dye process, there, there are several places on the hank that have these ties. So let's try to get this to focus here. This might be tricky. There. So those ties appear in three different places, at least on this skein. Some might have just two, some might have four. I'm, I'm not sure their exact process. But um, so you can see these two ties that are in the middle and then I've got one here on the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through the entire hank on both ends. So I'm going to take a really sharp big pair of scissors and I'm going to cut through where my thumbs are here and here, but I'm not going to remove those ties. And what that's going to do is that's going to pre-cut my lengths for me all at one time. And then keeping those ties in place, I'm going to remove carefully, just like you would remove one strand of DMC, I'm gonna remove five or six at a time carefully, and then I'm gonna be using, instead of thread drops, I'm going to be using my um, Friday Off The Grid uh, thread keep. And I'm gonna preload them onto here. I might have to use a couple. But I have my Christmas tree as well, so I might use the Christmas tree and the the Friday off the grid one. And I'm gonna preload them onto there and then I can just take out one strand at a time while they're loaded onto there. So let me let me know if that wasn't clear, my description of how I'm gonna handle this because people, lots of people do ask how to handle these and there's many different schools of thought. Some people use a swift and ball winder just like a, just like a hank of yarn and wall it up and wall it up ball it up into a cake, uh, just like a yarn cake. But I'm gonna pre-cut this into lengths. And then, tonight, after dinner, I'm, sa I'm saving it, because I have a lot of work to do today. Uh, tonight after dinner, I'm going to double check my measurements, and then I'm going to be starting in the bottom left corner, which is my favorite, favorite place to start. Bottom left corner, so I'm going to be starting right there. Can you 
see it? Oh, come on. There. Right there. On one corner. So, that's for tonight. After my work is done, and after dinner has been eaten, and the kitchen cleaned up, and we've settled in for some relaxing TV time tonight, that'll, that will be where I'm headed. So that's it for my high tea start. So giveaway time. I thought I would do something a little different with the giveaway today because uh, I, I want to celebrate high tea with you, but I think, I think we could use something right now. Something that's a little more immediate than maybe waiting for something in the mail. And the easiest way for me to get something to you is to send you something digitally. So instead of having one giveaway today for high tea, I'm going to have three giveaways and I'm going to do them all across the board. So if you're not on Instagram, if you're not on Facebook, if you can't make a comment on YouTube, you should at least have one way to leave me a comment and to be entered into today's draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer a chart, a PDF chart of your choice, not my choice, your choice. Whoever wins, my offer to you is that I would like you to choose a chart that you've always wanted to stitch that is available as a PDF chart and I will gift it to you. So now how can you enter? So one of the giveaways will be right here on YouTube and you're more than welcome to enter, you know, all three of them if you wish. That's totally fine. It's high tea, right? Let's celebrate. So if you leave me a comment below, you just have to put the word, let's see, what should we make the word be? Mm, friendship. Let's make it friendship. So if you're entering below on today's video for today's um, high tea giveaway, you just need to have the word friendship in your comment. And then I will be looking for that word when I pull the winner from this. Over on the Facebook group, I will have a, a picture up where you can enter and you just need to leave me a comment. If you have the word friendship in it, that's great too. And I will do the exact same thing over on Instagram. Now I have two Instagram accounts. One of them is at off the grid needle arts and the other one is my uh, project bag business, which is Evertote. And you can find that at Evertotes. And because Evertote is really, um, the entity that is paying for these <laughs> giveaways, I'm gonna put it over on the Evertote page, okay? So I'm gonna, uh, all of this information will be in the drop-down box below. So if you can't remember how to spell it or where to find it, just look in the drop-down box below and that will give you all of the information about where to find where you need to put your comment. And I will try to have those things up uh, when this video goes live later this afternoon so that we can all celebrate together. So three PDF charts, you're more than welcome to enter all three. And I don't wanna wait a month. I don't want to wait a full month. I think you know we should have something to look forward to much sooner than that. So how about I do one giveaway a week? So on, so today is Wednesday. Let's make Wednesday high tea giveaway day. So one week from today, I'll pull one winner and then the next Wednesday I'll pull the next winner and then the next Wednesday I'll pull the third winner of a PDF chart of your choice any designer that you like any chart that you like let's try to maybe you know keep my budget in mind I don't I don't know if there are hundred dollar PDFs out there but I can't really afford a, a hundred dollar PDF you know what I mean right so um, within reason any PDF of your of your choice from any designer that you wish and happy high tea happy Wednesday I hope you are well I hope you are safe and I hope that you get to enjoy some stitching time today and uh, I will check in with you again tomorrow tomorrow's Thursday which um, in my mind I like to have you know little general ideas of what I'm gonna do every every you know, day of the week. Do you do the same thing? I think it comes from years of having scheduled uh, teaching time. Like Tuesday was the day that I taught these kids and Wednesday was the day that I taught these kids and keeping that kind of schedule. I like to, I don't know. I find that 
suits my personality to have a little bit of structure, but <laughs> not a ton of structure, but a little bit of structure. So I think it was last Thursday that I started going through my stash drawer. And so my plan is tomorrow to go through the remainder of that, that drawer of goodies, um, my from the stash pile that I started sharing with you last Thursday. There's, there are still a few more wonderful charts in there, a few more goodies in the... <sighs> if you're not Canadian, you might not get this reference, but for those of us who are approximately the same age as me, or a little younger, or a little older, you will remember a television um, kids show that we had called Mr. Dress Up. And Mr. Dress Up was very similar in very similar in style to sort of Mr. Rogers. Um, it was a daily show that we watched on CBC, which is our national, our national broadcast channel. And uh, Mr. Dress Up was just one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. And Mr. Dress Up had something special called his tickle trunk. <laughs> and in his tickle trunk were his, his special costumes where he could pull out you know anything that he wanted to pretend to be he could find in his tickle trunk so if he wanted to dress up like a clown he would open up his special tickle trunk and in there would be the shoes and the hat and the nose and and then maybe the next day he wanted to be a fireman and so in the tickle trunk would be the fire hat and the and the the coat and everything that he needed and so often when i think about these special boxes that I open and inside there are all of these wonderful treasures I think about them as my as my tickle trunk so there you go um, anyways mr. mr. dress up I used to watch mr. Rogers as well but but that wasn't quite as um, mr. dress up was pretty huge when I was when I was little when I was that age and he was uh, those shows were still on actually I think when Sarah was little Mr. Dress Up happy memories all right everybody that's it for me today again I, I have already said goodbye once and then I <laughs> and then I did just one more thing thank you for visiting with me today in the spirit of friendship I'll see you tomorrow take care everybody mm -hmm.